Now, the intent of the Australian curriculum was that wherever students studied any of the subjects of the Australian curriculum, anywhere in Australia, they would study relatively at the same rate and the same content. And so if students move between states, or teachers move between states for that matter, um, they should be able to slot straight into relatively similar teaching of the same material and at the same processes of progression. Now, it doesn't mean that the same lesson is going to be taught in every school anywhere in Australia at the same time. Um, that does happen in the French system, but certainly it's not the intent of the Australian system. But there are meant to be quite similar approaches across all of the states in relation to the Australian curriculum. And by and large, that has been achieved. That said, there are still differences between the states in how they have implemented the Australian curriculum and in particular how we're looking at how they've implemented the technologies learning area. So in Queensland, we've generally followed the Australian curriculum as it's set. Um, we haven't made any major modifications or changes to that. Some other states have made some reasonably significant changes, in particular New South Wales, Victoria and Western Australia. Um, Victoria, for example, integrates the general capabilities into the curriculum as um, content descriptors. So rather than having it as separate, they're very much integrated in and they're part of in the assessment processes and so forth. Um, and other states have done various other minor modifications. So I provided you with a bit of a summary of the various states and given you some links if you wish to explore how they have addressed the Australian curriculum. Um, remember, you may not end up teaching in Queensland. You may choose to go and teach in one of our other states. You certainly will be well prepared to do so as part of your studies. And indeed, you could teach overseas, although I'm not trying to exp exp um, demonstrate to you all the different ways other countries have explored technologies education. But you should have a general understanding of how technologies education is taught differently in different parts of Australia. But in the main, it's taught the same. Now, of course, there's different ways of students studying. Um, there's International Baccalaureate, for example, which is a different curriculum than the Australian curriculum. There are a range of different ways of studying computer education in different approaches. There's the Steiner schools. There's the Montessori schools. Um, there's also schools that follow the um, uh, Reginino, uh, what's her name? Um, Regino Emilia's approach to um, early childhood education in particular. There's homeschooling, where some students are learning supported by curricular material, supported by their parents. There's distance education and virtual schooling. There are a range of different flexible learning options, uh, particularly for students um, in years in the senior years, but there are some for early years as well. And there's also Indigenous education, where we have particular programs that are designed to suit particular um, ethnic groups. So computer education is also a lot broader than just what occurs in schools. You may have students that have been doing robotics competitions for many years, supported by their parents and maybe through scouts or girl guides or just on their own initiative. There's various coding camps and coding clubs where they may have already learned about computer programming. Um, there's lots of robotics programs that are related to that as well. So don't just assume that your students have no understanding about technologies education before they come to your class. So that's what I provided you with a bit of an overview that you can see that there are a range of different ways that your students may have already engaged with um, their studies, either formally through various education systems. And indeed, you may end up teaching in one of those education systems, in which case you'll need to learn about their specific expectations and requirements. But also your students will have done their own self-study around engagement with technology. Now, it may be as simple as their digital literacy in terms of using 
um, apps and games and things of that nature, through to learning programming and robotics and database systems and so forth. So think through some of those elements and consider that as we look at our final section around the future of curriculum.